Did you know that the foundations of modern chemistry were significantly influenced by Muslim scientists during the Islamic Golden Age? This era, spanning from the 8th to the 14th century, was a beacon of knowledge and discovery. It was a time when Muslim scientists significantly pushed the boundaries of various fields, including chemistry. From developing experimental methods to understanding chemical reactions, their contributions were pivotal. The Islamic Golden Age was indeed a time of profound scientific progress, with chemistry being one of the fields greatly advanced by Muslim scholars. When we talk about the contributions of Muslim scientists to chemistry, we cannot overlook Jabir ibn Hayyan, often referred to as the father of chemistry. This exceptional mind introduced experimental investigation into alchemy, leading to the discovery of numerous substances and chemical processes. He also developed early laboratory equipment, emphasizing the importance of systematic experimentation. His work didn't just contribute to chemistry, but reshaped the way we approach scientific inquiries. Jabir ibn Hayyan's innovative approach laid the groundwork for the modern scientific method in chemistry. Beyond Jabir ibn Hayyan, other notable Muslim chemists like Al-Razi and Al-Kindi have left indelible marks on the field of chemistry. Al-Razi distinguished himself with his work on acids and alkalis, his classification of substances, and his insights into chemical reactions. Al-Kindi, on the other hand, made significant strides in the distillation of alcohol and the development of perfumes. The works of Al-Razi and Al-Kindi further expanded the horizons of chemistry, paving the way for future discoveries. The contributions of Muslim scientists to the field of chemistry have left a lasting legacy. Their groundbreaking work during the Islamic Golden Age laid the foundation for many modern chemical processes and principles. From Jabir ibn Hayyan's experimental methods to the advances in alchemy, their scientific endeavors have shaped the chemistry we study and utilize today. So the next time you marvel at a chemical reaction or use a piece of laboratory equipment, Remember the pioneering work of these Muslim scientists who greatly contributed to the science of chemistry.